Hello, I'm Manny Gonzalez, and I'm speaking of stress. And I'm here in sunny Florida, visiting relatives. We're traveling around, and we've been to so many beautiful places. I love the hot weather. I love driving, seeing sights, and talking to people. It's really interesting because people are friendly here. Everywhere I go, I'm not kidding you. Everybody's so friendly. And of course, I'm very outgoing. Anywhere I go, any place I am, I always talk to people. Hey, how you doing? Where are you from? What's going on? That's important to relate to people, and that's my life. That's why I love these motivational videos, because I'm out here to encourage, to lift you up, to enlighten your life over my experiences. And I've been through a lot and seen a lot, and something that I say may impact you where you may think differently or do something differently. The whole idea is to make life better. How can you have a better life? How can you enjoy life? Who wants to be sitting around on TV, watch, on the couch watching the TV like some old dog? No offense, old dogs. <laughs> I'm one of them. But you know, it's much more healthy for you to do something, even if it's a little activity. Move a little bit. My wife and I love to dance, so we've taken dance lessons. So we enjoy that. I enjoy running, so I'm outdoors running in the house when it's cold. I work out, I do exercises. We try to eat healthy, even though when you're on the road, you eat all kinds of delicious, yummy, yummy, yummy stuff that's not good for you. However, balance life. And an interesting thing that happened to me that I want to share with you today is I've got cousins here, not far from us, who live here and mentioned a place to me that they said, you got to go to this place. You love it. Because they know we're into natural things and just beauty and good things. So the name of it is Seed to Table. The word seed to table. So you go from the seed it raises up, it grows, you harvest it, it goes to your table. That's the name of the store. So anyway, she says, make sure you go there. So we put it on our GPS, and here we are. Seats to go. Seats to table, excuse me. Anyway, we walk in there as we always do, and they greeted us. And I says, hey, where are you from? And we talked with the greeter, and another lady went by. I says, hey, how you doing? I saw her name. I mentioned her name. Hi, Roxanne. So we just talk to people. They feel so good when we talk to them. Please, please, please go out of your way to greet and talk to people that you don't even know. Mostly, people will respond. In the South and Florida, everybody's friendly. I know up in Chicago, people turn the other way or they think you're going to mug them or something. So I understand that. However, if you can and when you can, walk in the store and say, hey, how are you? Especially to a greeter. So as we're walking in and looking at this amazing place with fruits and vegetables, all kinds of products, very neatly and nicely arranged, beautiful sites, they got restaurants, they got, I mean, it's just, it's like a little city by itself. But anyway, we walk in there, and as I mentioned, I talked to the greeter, I talked to somebody else, and there's a guy standing behind the greeter arranging some products. And I says, great place. I says, who's that guy? Just asking. And you know what she says? He is the owner. That's Alfie. He owns this place. I said, oh my God. I said, really? She says, yeah. You know what I said? I says, hey, do you think I can take a picture with him? She says, sure. So he's in a little conference with workers. He tapped him on the shoulder. Alfie looked around and she says, hey, this customer would like a picture. Alfie says, hey, yeah, sure. So my wife and I stood there. We took a couple of pictures joked with him, shook his hand, laughed with him. We had such a good time. And this guy is the owner. Okay, now let me fast forward a little bit. So I'm walking around and talking to people and I meet somebody upstairs at the restaurant and I says, wow, wonderful place you got. I says, you know what, I just met the owner. And he says, oh yeah, he's here every day. Do you know that he starts before everybody right here in this restaurant, he sits right at this table, has coffee and speaks with the employees. And he says, he doesn't leave till 10, 12 hours later. I mean, he says, this guy's dedicated. And I says, wow, he seems like such a nice guy, such a wonderful person. He says, yeah, he is. 
And he says, you want some orange juice? I said, sure. He poured me some orange juice and sees, he says, see this orange juice? I says, yeah. He says, that's our orange juice. Alfie owns orange groves, so we have our own orange. Oh my, oranges, oh my God. I says, wonderful. And I says, man, Naples is such a beautiful place. He says, you know what? Alfie's got properties all over Naples, everywhere. And Mark, Mark, I can't even say it, Marco Island, which is an amazing place. He says he owns property all over the place and his, and his family. So this guy's talking about how wonderful and great their boss is who happens to own the place, who happens to be a multi, multi-millionaire who took time out of his morning to take a picture with this old dude. Isn't that wonderful? That's the attitude I want to have. I may not have millions. Whatever I have doesn't matter. What matters is my attitude. So as Alfie was so kind to me, he impressed upon me the importance of loving and caring for people, even if you're one of the most important places in the area. And he is, I guarantee you, Alfie owns a lot. So that my wife and I, we were just so pleasantly surprised with the environment, the products, and they had all these different stations where you can get some freebies, samples. Ha, 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 ha. I got as many freebies as I could, and I went back for seconds, and they were kind. And uh, every place we went with one of the little stands for the freebies, I talked to people. Where are you from? What do you do? One lady told me, well, I was married 30 years. I got divorced. It's been hard. I says, well, God bless you. We'll say a prayer for you. Somebody else told us they were from Connecticut. They retired. They're alone. And here they're working there. So... As we travel around, as I consider just different options, I'm excited about just being around people and being alive. So I want to share this with you. This is contagious. Forget the bug, forget the virus. Focus on being contagiously happy and smiling and cordial with people. It's a wonderful thing to do. And I'm just thankful that you're listening, that I get some really good comments. And I'm in some very beautiful places. Right now, our backyard here in, the, in our relative's home in Florida. And I'm so thankful that really, one day at a time, whatever problem you got, life will be resolved. It'll be resolved by life, by the good Lord. And you know what? The worst thing that can happen, this is what I tell people. People die every day. I'm gonna die, you're gonna die. Are you so fearful of death you're not going to live? Start living and take a risk. I say be brave, bold, and daring. Do things to enjoy life. To me, this is not a big deal here, but it's important and I enjoy it and it's wonderful. So God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Remember, as Alfie does, go out of your way, even if you're a boss, even if you're a millionaire, even if you're a multi-millionaire, you can stop and greet people and be nice to people. It's not going to affect your bottom line. It's not going to damage your profits. God bless you again. Thank you so much. Let me go for my little run.